Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you're watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another exciting technical video. And this is the third video of our newly created technical series, which is the ServiceNow developer. So in my last video, I have discussed with you about the API. So we have seen what is an API, how API works. So I've given some great example so that you can understand and clear the concept. And then we discussed about the different ServiceNow APIs and uh, how it is working. Client side API, server side API, both the API we have discussed, right? So that was a very important video, guys. And you have to clear the concept uh, before starting the API today that we are dealing with the Glide record. So if you missed the video, don't worry. I'm going to put the link in the description. And also you can find the link here on your screen, right? All right. So let's see what we are going to learn from today's video. So. Today we would start with the one of the famous server side API, one of the most used that is the glide record. Although you have seen a glimpse of glide record in my last video while explaining the server side API, I have informed you about the glide record API and how you can create objects and different methods are there. But we would discuss in more detail and very importantly, so I'm going to show you inside of service now by writing actual scripting. All right, so make sure you watch the full video again to clear your concept and also for the practical session, right? All right, then we would see why we need light record. So after understanding what is light record, we would understand why actually we need that, right? Then using light record API. So we are going to see how we can declare light record and how we can access different methods and you know how we can initiate the objects, all those things. And finally, we would see what are the list of glide record methods that are available, right? Also, let me tell you this uh, video of glide record would be in two part. So this is the first part. In the next part, we would discuss about all the different methods. So I'll actually practically show you uh, how those methods are actually working practically inside of service now, right? Okay, so let's start the class. All right, so glide record. So glide record, it is a server side API. Already have uh, mentioned this in the last video also. It is used for solving ServiceNow database operations, right? So what do I mean by database operations? So database operations is like where you query the data, you know, looking for some particular record, maybe in a, in a normal table. If you think about, if you have any idea about SQL things, structure, query language, all those things, that same SQL things, are you going to implement inside of ServiceNow or inside of Glide record? We would find it out. So it contains records from a single table. Okay, so when we do the glide record on a table, so it contains the record of a single table. So at the time, you can only uh, provide one table name and I'll show you that in a minute. And finally, it is used in server side scripting. So again, this thing I have already informed you in the last video also that uh, glide record is a server side API. So it is being used like in business rules, script include UI action in the server level and also in email script and the many other places where you do the server side scripting. All right, why we need glide record. So I was already talking you about the, you know, the importance of the SQL language, right? How you can do the query and get the result what you are looking for using the SQL language. So with the help of SQL, so like the scenario, if we talk about, for an example, in our incident table, if we want to see all the incident where priority is one. Okay. So that is something is the query that I'm looking for. Need to see all the active incident. Again, I want to see all the active incident from the table. So this is all I'm querying the table, right? Right. Need to see all the incident that is created after 15th October 2023, 10 a.m. And finally, need to create or update incident using scripting. Directly, we want to create an incident by using scripting. So this all thing can be possible with the help of Glide record. And the good thing is that we don't need to use any SQL here. So I was just asking you that same question that whether we have to use the SQL language here, because as of now, what we have learned is that to query a table uh, to get the data, we use the query language, right? Now here you would see that we don't need to do anything. So again, like I said, Glide record is the API, all these things very well constructed inside of the Glide record API. Right. All we need to do, we need to create the object and call different methods to do different tasks. That's it. So the service now developer, the real service now developer, those person who have created the service now. So they have made our life so easy with the implementation of API. 
So before I show you how actually Glide Record works in a programming level, so let's see what are the methods of Glide Records. So there are so many methods of Glide Records, like I said before also in the last video also. Also, this is a JavaScript class. So API is nothing but uh, the class objects and methods, properties, all those things. So name of the class is Glide Record. So we create the object of Glide Record that you would see in a minute and then you call different methods so there are so many methods available in glide record so i'll give you a link for the developer site where you can directly go and check all the methods that are available and it's quite <laughs> impossible to complete all the methods but i will come try to but i will try to give you example of each and every important method that you use very often while dealing with service now development so the methods are like this at query, add active query, add encoded query, at not null query, can create order by query, set limit, set value, and all those things. You can see get method, insert, update, get display value, get row count, get value, next method, has next, initialize. So what I'm gonna do is that, so this, this all methods, I would tell you each and every method, how they are working, I mean, I'll show you an example show practically so that you can understand how it is working. And also I would request you to open your service now developer instance at the same time while I do this so that you can also practice and, you know, get yourself uh, ready to use all those functions in your, uh, as per your needs. Right? So all list of glide record methods that I'm going to discuss in the next video, uh, that would be purely only for glide record methods. And before that, we have to understand how to initialize the glide record and also like uh, how actually it works, right? So we would see that how we can use the glide record API. So first thing that we have to do, create a glide record object based on your required table. So in my JavaScript series, I have shown you in the class and object videos that how you can use this, how you can create a class and then you can uh, create objects and call methods, all these things. So I have actually made that video particularly so that this starting of ServiceNow development becomes so easy. So if you have any confusion by understanding JavaScript class and methods, how they work, so you can watch that video. So I'm gonna give the link in the description. Also right now you can get the link from here. So if you have any confusion, quickly go there and understand it, okay? First, we have to create a glide record object. So like I said, glide record is the name of the class. So we declare a variable incident record. So I will just show you all of these things by uh, writing also inside of my service now instance uh, in a minute, but first let's understand it. Okay. So where in incident record, it's a variable and it's equal to new glide record. So we are declaring the object here. So incident record is the object, right? And which is storing the incident. So this is the parameter which is taking the incident. By looking at this, you can understand that means it is written, I mean, in JavaScript in backend, it is written like class glide record and then maybe the constructor function. Again, I have explained constructor in my JavaScript series. And then uh, after that, there are different methods that are available, like all the method lists we have seen. All those methods are defined inside of the class. What we are doing is that we are just creating object uh, of the class glide record and then we are using any of the method that we want how cool it is and that's how then that's the benefit of using the api right after that we have to build the query so like i said if you have to do it in sql then you have to write the query actually like select this where this is that or something like that in the sql format we don't need to do that we are going to use some methods that has already been developed by the developer service now developer we are going to use it to uh, execute our work so like this we want to query we want to see all the record where category is software so what we were what we are writing we are calling now the object is created incident record is is the name of our object so incident record dot at query this is a method we are calling first we are passing the category it is the name of the field so i'm talking about the incident table you can see that and the value and the next i'm passing the value which is the software i want to do a query of this incident table where the category is the software again we would understand about the at query uh, method uh, in detail in the next video but you can understand it first you have to provide the field name this is not the name or the label okay uh, this is the name of the field and then the value and more i will show you uh, in a minute when i'll do it in in my service now pdi after that we have to execute the query after you have written the query then you have to execute it to execute the query we will write this line incident record dot query Again, this is another method. This is another method. So all what we are doing, we have 
create the object and we are now calling the methods different methods all right and finally after we get the record like uh, all the records uh, where the you know the where the category is software in the incident table what we are doing apply script logic to the records returned in the object so we are applying some script here some while loop here and then we are getting all the numbers i hope it is not that clear until unless i do it in front of you right so so i'm going to do it now in my pdi so just you know the output will come you'll get all the incident numbers where category software but let's do it in the pdi all right so i'm in my service now developer instance so i'm using the latest one the vancouver okay so if you are using an old instance that is absolutely fine that won't create any problem or you can also update uh, your instance or upgrade your instance so there could be an option of upgrade here so i'm actually using the latest version so it is not giving me an option to upgrade but you can upgrade your uh, uh, previous version so maybe you are in uta or tokyo so you can do that so this is my service now developer instance and i will go to the background script so again background script is there in service now every service now uh, this is something is very powerful you can write code and you can execute that right and i have actually talked about background uh, script and also if i show you just okay so actually it's scripts so if you write scripts you will get you can see scripts background let me make it favorite because i'm going to use a lot so i'm going to click on script background now for if you do not have the visual studio installed and the plugin then probably you would get uh, you won't get the black screen you will get a simple white screen it's which is very very boring so actually i've created a video in my service now uh, and javascript series that uh, how you can use or how you can connect with your service now to the visual studio uh, visual studio code that video you can watch it out you will get the solution of it so if you are not getting the black screen i would highly recommend watch that video to get the black screen because the benefit of it like you would be able to get the full uh, experience of visual studio right so now let me you can see all this uh, reference will come actually you don't need to use you don't need to create that so also the service now class you would be able to access for an example so incident uh, record that's the name of our variable and i'm creating the object you can see it is coming and now i'm gonna you can see all the all the all the glide class are coming right so i'm gonna use glide record and also you know if i hover the mouse you can see constructor glide record it is to, uh, showing so i was just discussing that where it is taking the table name as a string value that we will put now so with the help of the new keyword we can use all the properties and the methods of the glide record class okay so here i need to pass the table name so i'll type incident here and now this is the line by which by doing which we are creating the object incident record uh, it's an object of the glide record class now this object incident record has the power to access all the methods and properties of the glide record class okay so now what i'm going to do i'll type incident record dot now i'm going to use the method so it's the add query method right so inside of the glide record class this add query method is already declared you can see method glide record dot add query what it takes it takes a name and a value so name is a field name and then the value so like i was saying in the inside of the glide record class all this method add query and over what of them and whatever the method that we are going to learn all this method has declared already and how they are going to function it is also declared so we don't need to know how this query will work in the backend all we write is like name of the field which is the category value of the field which is the software that's what we do right and we don't know how the query happens and to run this query or to execute this query what we are going to do is that we are going to call another method which is the simple query that's it so in this three line we are creating the object which is the instance of the class then we are calling a method so that we can do the query so the category field should be software out of the whole incident table right so let me also open the incident table uh, so that we can see whether the result is coming true or not so this is the whole incident record you can see 67 records that are right now here and we are seeing out of this all whole 67 records we want only the category is software now how i will get the record or how i will print the record so now 
Now, with the help of JavaScript knowledge, we can understand that we have to use a loop here. Why we have to use a loop? So we have to use a loop so that it can go to this, go to 67 records and get only the records or return only the records where category is software, right? So I'm going to use a loop here. So I'm going to write while loop here. Okay, not going to use the for, but the while loop. It's very easy to use the while loop here. And I'm going to put the condition here. Now the condition, and you know that under while loop, we need to do the give the condition. So the condition would be, again, I'll declare the object dot. I'm going to use another method, which is the next method. Okay, the job of the next method, we will understand again in the next video. But I'm, let me tell you, the job of the next method is to check whether any record available or not. So whether the next level, next record is available or not. So that means while looping the incident table, rather whether records are there where category is software. Every time it will check and it will print the number. All I want to show the incident number. So gs.info now here, what is gs? We have learned gs is a glide system in the last video uh, while giving you the example of server side API. But more about gs we would learn in upcoming videos like the total glide system API. So this is the global object gs and dot info. This is another method by using which print something in the in here in the output in the screen. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to print incidents are like this. And then plus now in the PowerPoint slide, you have seen one point of light record. So you can see it is written. It contains records from a single table. So we can print any column that we want. So I want to print the column numbers. I want to see the list of the numbers here on the right hand side in the output. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to call the record and dot. Now I'm using the field, which is the number. So what I'm doing is I told you by writing this line, all the record is storing under the incident object, right? So I'm just calling one of the field field that is the number. So if I just run the script, you can see incidents are and you can see list of incidents are showing right now. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 incidents are there. I just counted like this. Also, we can use a method uh, that would tell ex exactly what are the number of incidents, but that we will see in the next video. But just to check, if I do a filter here and just type category is software and then we run the query, you can see we get the 13 records only. So here also we are getting the record. I can also access any other field. For an example, I want to see also the priority of all those records. So maybe I will write like this. So maybe I want to give a space here. So let me just add a plus here, space, and then plus, then incident record dot priority. Now it looks fine. So you can see it is there. Also the priority is there, five, one, four. So maybe I will just make it more easy to understand. So I'll just name it as priority. And there is a space here. So, so now you can see it is coming properly. So incidents are incident number and the priority of the incident. So you can see how powerful is the glide record. So this is just few methods that I've used add query query and the next method but there are so many other methods that you can use it so let me know if you have any question in the comment section this is it for today if you find it helpful hit the like button don't forget to share this with your friends and subscribe my channel see you in my next video bye bye take care